on here. You know what time it is, and you know where you at. It is time for the radio unfriendly show with your unfriendly neighborhood main man, and I got some old friends in the building, man. These dudes right here blessed me to be on one of their songs, uh, a couple of projects back. You know what I mean? But we're gonna get into, you know what I mean? My dude's El Permanente right here, yo. So lean back, yo. If you had the tattoo parlor, get you a get you a tat right quick, man. You know what I mean? It's radio unfriendly. <laughs> season if y'all ain't know <laughs> and your unfriendly neighborhood main man just happens to be a Leo word like <laughs> but enough about that enough about me man I want to say what's up to my two out of three illustrious guests yo talking about my guys permanent acres in the building man what's up what man do, what it do what's up what's going on what's going on yo man yo I've always been a big fan of you guys man because um y'all do it your own way man you know what I mean <laughs> That's the only way to do it, man. Word up, man. I met uh, I met y'all through a poetry event or something like that. I, I think I met you through a workshop, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word up, man. So it was, it was always good to, uh, you know what I mean, to chop it up with you guys early on, man. But now we're getting ready to get real deep down into the dialogue. You know what I mean? But before we do that, we got to give back to the ancestors, pay homage to the, uh, the hip-hop heads who paved the way for us with a segment that I call Today in Hip Hop History. Yeah, right around this time in hip hop history, man, Snoop Dogg released his third solo album. This is the first one he had on No Limit Records, man. Mm. This was that uh, the game is to be sold, not to be told, back in 1998. You remember that joint? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> also, man, um, Funk Master Flex was born right around this time in '68, man. So uh, shout outs to him. Happy birthday to him, along with um, MCA of the Beastie Boys, man. Happy birthday to him as well, man. He was born in '64, man. So some old heads, man. Paying homage to them right there, man. Y'all, y'all fans of any of them? Oh yeah, man. I, I definitely grew up as like a, I grew up a heavy Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg fan. You know, my uncle basically was the one that introduced me to hip hop. You know, word. My mom was a church lady, so she wasn't playing that. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to sing with your uncle or whatever. Yeah, check out man, some hip hop. Yeah, man. We was, my mom would play nothing but thirteen forty gospel. So, <laughs> so I, had to, I had to duck off every now and again, learn about the hip hop game. Man. Word up, man. Yo, what about you, man? What about you, Joy? Oh, yeah, I mean, I was definitely on the Snoop Dogg early on, actually, man. Uh, especially Doggy Style, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> a lot of classic, classic right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like, definitely a classic I, album, I, I sit there and, like, just rap along with the interludes, like, and sing along with, like, just even the, the like, little dumb parts in the middle. <laughs> yeah, 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 no doubt, man. Word up, man. So, Permanent Ink, man, that's an ill name for y'all's group, man. Word up, man. How'd y'all come up with the name Permanent Ink? Ah uh, man, I think it just stemmed from just like thinking about what what are we trying to do with this music? Yeah. And um I mean, bottom line is if you don't write your story, somebody else is going to write it for you and they're going to write right. you out. Damn right. So, when we write it, we write it in permanent ink. Word. You know what I'm saying? So like everything that we're doing is intentional, everything we're doing is original, everything is going to live forever. Okay, um, I, I love that concept, man. I never knew that right there, man. Do you actually write your rhymes though in ink, though? I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> that, all three of us got notebooks. Word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's digital and notebooks. Word. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, as much as I love the ink too, I, I gotta still use the phone when I'm on the go. That's what I use. I man. mean, you know, take. <laughs> you know, I hate it sometimes, but it, I, but you know, I gotta get those quick messages out sometimes. But yeah, yeah. I love the ink because it, it's just a different connection when you write it out versus you know typing it out. Yeah, yeah. I, I I got mad notebooks from back in the day too when I. Because sometimes when I get caught, when I'm in the writing spirit. I just always have my phone, you know what I mean? So who knows where I'm at, and I get, you know what I mean? So I just do everything on my phone now, which has been 
a detriment as well because I lost like 46 poems out of my phone uh. when my battery uh, had a default. Uh, something happened with my with my iPhone. Took it to the Apple Store. They said there was no way to recover anything, and I lost forty six poems, man. That didn't get uploaded into the iCloud. That's sad, man. Awful, Tragic. man. So I learned my lesson from that, man. You know what I mean? Paper rules over digital. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you did a song called Paper, man. That's, That's it. I got a, yeah, I got a, I got a um, poem called Paper. That's the first okay. poem I wrote after that happened. You uh, know that uh, because um, yeah, yeah, that was the first poem I wrote just because I, I didn't know what else to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Step, step, start over. Right. So I wrote another poem. I lost forty six poems. I said I got to get back right. So you know, so it is what it is, man. Yo, so I know y'all by y'all government names. Tell everybody <laughs> y'all stage names on this joint, man. <laughs> So, so I go by J Day, Teddy J Music. Uh, uh, I got a few different names, uh, Sir Clutchington. I mean, just a few different. Yeah, the voice right there. The ladies <laughs> is probably salivating right now. You got the Teddy <laughs> Pendergrass voice going on right there. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I go by Two J Press Play, Sensei J, any of those, and then you got the Wu Tang uh, Wu Tang names over here, like <laughs> multiple. <laughs> Names on this joint, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got to. You got to be able to tap. You got to be able to tap in those other, those other, those other sides sometimes. Yeah. Right? You know, you ain't, you ain't always. Yeah. Different personalities and all that. Yeah. yeah. All that. I feel you. I got different joints too. I, I got Jack Money. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's like my brolic bully name. You know what I mean? Jack Money over this joint. <laughs> A main man. Uh, well, who else I got? I got um. I got a uh, Nigel Hush child. That's what I mean. When I got the smoker's jacket on <laughs> okay, right there. Right. <laughs> I got a couple joints, man. You know what I mean. So it is what it is. And y'all, y'all missing a member? Who's one? Who's the member y'all missing today? Oh yeah, Trell T I E double L. Yeah, man. That's that's the real writer of the group, man. Okay. That's, that 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 man come out with some flames every time, man. They call him Trail Blazing. Oh man, what's up, Trail <laughs> man? If you out there, bro, we miss you right here, man. He, he lives he lives out the way though, right? Yeah, he's in Charlotte. Um, I'm out of Winston, and then Jordan's out of Greensboro. Okay, so y'all got the holy trifecta of North Carolina right here, permanently. Y'all now corners of the map. Of course, yeah. yeah. Man, got to, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the only way to spread it is, you know, we got to get ourselves out there in the different spots and, and, and get the music to the people. Fact of Mundo, yo. So yeah. tell me, what does hip-hop mean to y'all, man? It, it, I mean... I know what it means to me, but it's, it's all. I'm always curious of what hip hop directly means to other um, musicians. Man, so so for me, I I actually still feel really young in my my hip hop journey, um, and I've I've really been heavy into it. You know, probably about you know eighteen some odd years. I remember when I first like really got into it, but I feel like I'm really now starting to really understand it because um you know recording it on my own, and so it's like relearning everything that I thought hip hop was. And I would say it's really like really discovering like who you are and mm-hmm. being, you know, accepting of that. And like, yeah, it's like, like I am hip hop. That's Word what I'm really learning. That's, that's, that's the bottom line for me, you know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know hip hop is something that you do. You know what I mean? Something that, you, something that you live. You know what I mean? It's something that you eat, something that you breathe. You know what I mean? It's a culture. You know what I mean? You can't just wipe that off or take that off like a uniform or like a costume. You know what I mean? Something that you live day to day. And that's what I live every day, man. I live this hip-hop culture, along with black culture, along with a lot of other, you know, ming- in- intermingled cultures. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. What, what about you, fam? Uh, f- for me, hip-hop kind of ended up being my uh, therapy, man. Nice. Like, like I, hit a, I hit a wall with some things, and, mm. and that really became an outlet for me. And once I, like... We started uh, recording, you know, in the crib. So like that allowed that allowed me the freedom to kind of be like who I really like am. You know what I mean? I wasn't yeah. restricted to oh you gotta pretend this because this person's in the room, or you gotta pretend because this person's in the room. Like once you're behind that mic, it's just like you and the mic. It's just you, you know, it's you and yourself. Damn right. So you gotta tap in sometimes and either get those emotions out or what you feeling or. You know, so that's what it's been to me since since I kind of picked up the pen. Yeah, one of the best therapies is getting that you know getting that off your chest and right now. What you're feeling, uh, and in the form of music or poetry or whatever, man. And then when you give it away, it becomes therapy for the people who listen to it, man. It's a beautiful thing. Word up, y'all! Y'all study. You study music, right, fam? You're actually like a a student of of music, like literally, right? Yeah, yeah. Yo, tell the people a little bit about that that journey right there. Uh, I mean, so me personally, I mean, I've 
I mean, I've been doing music since middle school, but mm. I mean, I, I went on, I got a degree on it at UNCG. I did music education. Nice. So I, I taught music uh, for a couple of years. Um, I went on from there and joined the Army Band. Okay. So I did music for the military. My man. <laughs> yeah. You got to play taps up in this joint. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Word so, up. I mean, I, I it don't matter what it is, man. I love music, so yeah. I, I've studied, I've studied and performed and recorded all types of music. But you know, hip hop is just where I'm at right now. Word up, man! Like when I went to y'all studio, man, it gave me the vibes of like the Electric Lady Studio. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Jimmy Hendrix joined or something Word. because y'all had instruments everywhere. It was like rugs on the wall. It was, <laughs> it was love, though, man. You know what I mean? Right. I love the vibe of y'all studio space, man. Word up. Man, you play all those instruments? Yeah, I yeah, I, I'll say this: I dibble and dabble on all those instruments. I would say I would easily perform, like maybe on like two or three of them, like piano, trumpet, trombone. But I mean, I'll record with any of them. Okay. If I can make a sound come out of it and manipulate it in a computer, I'll put it on there. Word, yeah. word. So, so what do you plan on going with all your musical education? You want to be a teacher? You want to be a composer? You want to be an arranger? You want to be a, a, a engineer? Where, where are you going with that? I mean, I already do all the above. <laughs> and I don't even mean that as a brag. I mean, Slight flex. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm just keeping it real. Like, I, I mean, from it, it, anything that I, I'm a teacher, man. I'm a teacher at heart. It doesn't matter what the subject is. So anything that I learn, like, I'm able to teach myself how to get better at it word um and including the people around me like anything i learn i'm able to transmit and find a way to teach it to the next person word uh, how, what is it like teaching uh, music to the kids you teach children's right yeah yeah i'm so i'm actually no longer in the public school system now we both work for a non-profit shout out to creative you multimedia academy okay Is what's there, up though yeah but we <laughs> we teach we teach music production and cinematography but those are just vehicles to teach kids soft skills nice so we're really teaching the kids all the skills you didn't learn in school but the projects that you're doing with cinematography and uh music are just the the vehicle where is this located so it's actually uh, it's really centered out of Lexington, but it can be anywhere because right now we're completely online. Okay, everything's zooming, zoom, zooming. Yeah, 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 yeah. man, I hate that, bro. You know what I mean? The cool thing is I got a I got a face to face show tomorrow at High Point. I'm looking forward to getting back in front of a crowd. I don't care how big or small it is. If it's three people, I'm gonna give them the same energy if it was three hundred. Right, and that's what you're yeah. supposed to do. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Word up, man. So, so musically, man. You know what I mean? Y'all work with a lot of different people. I noticed on your uh, on on a couple of your last projects, y'all always handpick your features. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Is, is it because you just like you know the vibe that you want and you know the people that you want to vibe with? How does that work out? You want to take that one? Uh, I think it's it's a little bit of both. Like, uh, you know, we we are fans of other artists too that are in the area. So, nice. on a respect level, it's just nice to 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 vibe and, and, and collab with another artist in the area who does who does what you do. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of like how, how we met. You know, we, we just happened to be in the same room in the same workshop. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, found out you rap, you know, vice versa. Next thing you know, you, in the, you we collab in the studio. Word. And now we got a song. You know what I mean? No doubt. We kind of try to keep it organic. You know, it's off of the vibe, off of the feeling. It's like, we don't try to force anything. I think that's that's what keeps the music so organic. Yeah, man. Y'all got a, y'all got a very... Um experimental style I would say as well like y'all not, y'all aren't scared to work outside of the box or the limits that most people box themselves in as hip hop heads yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean like like is that on purpose or is that just end up being your style I think part of that comes from uh, marching band you know, we, we all have some sort of marching band background. Word. Band background. It's like, you, here, try this. If it don't work, move on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like trial and error, pretty much. Uh, you wash, rinse, repeat every time. So. Yeah. Yeah, because y'all challenged me, man. Y'all gave me a beat that was uh, a, a whole lot more BPMs than I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all challenged me to jump on the, on a real fast-paced joint, and I and I enjoyed it, man. It was, it was like I said, it was a dope Challenge and end up being a dope song, man. Yeah. Word up. Who are some of the other people y'all worked with in the past? 
Oh man. Uh, so I mean, one of our number one collaborators is Sun Queen Kelsey. Shout out to Sun Queen. Yeah, you, you, you can. You, I mean, Bong. and mark this down, like in history, man. You're not gonna Bong. be able to mention Permanent Ink without mentioning Sun Queen Kelsey. Like, it's just not gonna. The beautiful be. soul that is Sun King, Sun Queen Kelsey. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sad name. She got me all shook up. The beautiful, the beautiful spirit that is her, man. I, I mean, not only just musically, man, but I'm talking about just in her everyday. The way she just does people, man. Yeah. She's a beautiful person, man. Word she's up. She's a light. Period, Definitely, man. man. Um, we've also we've worked with Breezy. We worked with Luna. Luna, we've done a lot of with. We've done a lot of with uh, Dante, Tay Lyric. Mosaic Soul. Yep. Definitely Mosaic Soul. Um, uh, who else have we been on the, up there with? Uh, we just recently had a feature with Dakota. Um, mm. That's Cody. Cody Shanna Barger. <laughs> the whole government. I mean, just, you know, I want people to know who, who I'm really talking about. Word. You know what I'm saying? Because his verse on there, it, it earns some respect, man. Nice. Yeah, so. We've got a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of collabs, actually, like, even with stuff that's, like, unreleased. I mean, uh, we were uh, hosting this event called uh, Music Monday. At right. the studio every Monday. I think we're gonna get back to that soon, but yeah. that yeah. was that was a, a nice vibe. Basically, we had a different artists, uh, rappers, performers come through to the studio and just vibe and actually you know we create a song and music. Why did I not get wind of that? I would have definitely came through. I didn't know that about it, bro. But it, it came and went with the breeze, man. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it was it was so quick and it was so it was so good too. I'm re- really waiting for the right moment to bring it back, but like it just I just I just had this idea. It started off with me and John. I was like, yo, we need to be consistently recording still you know like we, we never we never plan on ever stop recording so I was just like every Monday we're gonna get up we're just gonna do Music Monday and then we always love collaborating and that's where it turned into oh just Music Monday and people just showing up and I never had a plan word like, I mean a lot of dope things have happened from things similar to that like um the Soul Quarians used to get together in Philadelphia and that's how they discovered Jill Scott. You know what I mean? They would all get together. Jill, Jilly from Philly came through one time. And then she ends up being on a song with the Roots. And now she's an international star. So, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that is needed, man. You need to get together and collaborate and, and put put ideas together as, as artists and, and creatives, man. We need to do that more often, man. Absolutely. Word up, man. Yeah. Yo. Let's give them some of this music, fam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Word up, man. We got this joint called Doughboy. We ain't talking about boys in the hood either, are we? Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the music, man. You know, it's, 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 it's that's the dope we feeding the people is the music. Uh, so it's, it's, it is what it is, you know? I make dough, but don't call me Doughboy, huh? <laughs> Word up, man. This is Doughboy right here by Permanent Eating. On, right here on Radio One Friendly, man. Check this joint out right here. Yeah, 
Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, that had kind of like a West Coast feel right there to like a, uh, you know what I mean? Like a Northern California Bay Area type feel. <laughs> Where it up? Kind of sound a little dizzy right there, like some E40 type vibes or something oh, right yeah. there. Man, that's, that's, that's another influence of mine, man. E40? E40, man, he was always known for like making up words, and I was like, Man, I'm, if I can get a dictionary, that's a goal of mine. <laughs> Let me get a word dictionary. <laughs> word up, man. He got his own dictionary, like his own slang dictionary yeah. of words, man. That go 40 water right there, yo. I was digging that joint, man. Word up, man. Again, experimental, man. Y'all have a lot of fun with music, man. It's, again, is that on purpose, man? Oh, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's like party music. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you... Yeah. You are you are recording music, but you're really recording the feeling that you had making it, man. Word. So when you recording that, like how y'all was vibrating in the room together, that's yeah. what's going in the music. So no matter what, even if it's work, man, it's gotta be fun. It's gotta be. I gotta be enjoying it. If I'm not enjoying it, I'm not putting it out. Word up, man. <laughs> Yo, and and let me ask you another question. Is that right there? Like, um, is that new? Yeah, this, we just dropped this. Oh, this is brand. Has it, is this a a word for me on radio one <laughs> yes, Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, sir. It's man. brand new. Man, we, this, this on our latest project, uh, Catch the Drip Volume One. Yeah. Drip, 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 uh, drip. We just dropped it. What Monday? Yeah. Oh, word. So like, this is this this is exclusive right now. No doubt, Catch the Drip, y'all. All, all platforms out there. Oh, all yeah, platforms. Oh, yeah. yeah. He says the EP or it's a full length. <laughs> It's a mixtape. It's just Mixed seven songs, man. Seven songs. Okay, give us something to the people for the summer, right there. Right. Yeah. Get Plus them on. Uh, get them through this uh, pandemic. We got. We also got a uh, single out. We just called uh, Black. Yeah. That's uh. Well, you can figure out Black. what it is. It's called Black. I, I I heard that one online. That's the, oh, that's the, yeah. that's the one that um maybe give y'all a call because word up. I heard that joint. I was you like word up. One, <laughs> <laughs> word up, man. Give us the signs behind Black. So yeah, you got that. You know, <laughs> I, I work I work in a in an industry uh, of mattresses, and so you meet interesting clients. And, and so I was I was talking to a client on the phone, and you know helping her, and then she you know she she started asking me questions I'm not used to. So she was like, "Yeah, have, have you filled out the American Census?" And I was like, "What? <laughs> American Census?" It's like, I was like, "Yes, ma'am. You know, I'm, you know, I'm being yeah. nice." She's like, "Well, did you did you are you?" Did you did you did you pick white? I'm like, well, no, ma'am. I'm I'm African American. She said, oh, you're black. I I had no I I I, 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 I never met you. As you know, and then they, you basically can hear the song. We got actually through the clip at the end of the song. Wow. But yeah, that's just that's just kind of where it came from. You know, I I told Jordan about. It. I said, man. Listen to this phone call I had, and he, we just decided to chop it up, turn it to a song. That's man, I would, if people, I would, if people ever ask me like, "What's my, what's my background, or however they word it?" You know, what's, what's your, I don't know, what's the word for it, man? Like, what's your ethnicity and yeah, all that, yeah, whatever, yeah. like that. I tell them I'm Eskimo fan. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, I'm Eskimo. You know what I mean? They put that box on there just for me, yo, Eskimo. Well, see, <laughs> my, my mom knew what she was doing. She gave me such a generic name that, you know, you don't know what I am when you talking to me on the phone. Right. You know, John Jenkins, like, you know, but, you know, Jay Day for the people right now. So. Did she come get a mattress from you, though? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going like, to get that money, but. Word you know, up. But she, I'm going to also get that money off this track, too, that she that no she doubt. brings me with this inspiration. So. No doubt, no doubt. Joint's called Black Man. You know what I mean? This is another upbeat. You know what I mean, but it has a message behind it. Absolutely, yeah. So how um how serious are y'all about um you know the wording that you use and everything when you're making a song like 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 what t- tell me about that. Uh, I mean, we try to be a- as intentional a- as possible. Um, yeah, I mean, you're not out here faking it till you make it. Nah, not at all. Word. Uh, I mean, f- cause for one, like uh, man, we understand the power of music, man. Music can really change your life. So, I mean, it can go for the good or the bad. So anything that you put into music, that's what these people are feeding themselves with. That's so right. the intent behind every word is to gear you in a better direction. You know, even if it's just having fun. Like right now, forget your problems. Just, you know, don't have a care in the world. Just sing along real quick. And then the next song, you know, we're thinking about, you know, how, how can we progress forward out of this problem? Like Word up, word up, know? man. Yeah, man. And I think it's good that y'all coming out with some upbeat, happy songs, you know what I mean, to, to try to pull people out of this funk, man, because we've been uh, quarantined, you know, man, 
2020 has been a hell of a year, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw one of those memes online. It was like, if, if 2020 was a liquor, what would it be? I was like, Everclear. <laughs> boy. <laughs> man, I wouldn't be surprised if Godzilla came out the ocean next. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, literally, man. anything can happen right now. Right, yo. really. <laughs> man. Word up, man. So what are y'all planning on doing? Like, um, If things open back up, you're going to get back to doing shows and all that? Because I've been to one of y'all shows before. You know what I mean? Y'all very high energy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal, man. We had stuff planned for the year before everything shut down. So, yeah. uh, you know, I guess getting back in the rhythm with the shows, uh, linking back up with people, just collabing again. Uh, you know, the music never stops. So right. we always working and recording, but it'll be nice to get back out and perform again. Uh, we, we're going to definitely try to get into the new virtual world, too, like because that's the future. Like Clearly, this showed that not everything is going to be live anymore. Right. Like, you're going to have to, if you really want to reach the people, you're going to have to reach people through the screen sometimes. So yeah. definitely going to be trying to like figure out ways to make the most of that. Yeah, man. And also, other avenues. You, you see how um, Beyonce is doing with the Black is King thing. So she's doing like a whole visual album instead of doing an audible album because that's just how... You got to reach people now, different yeah. different avenues, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, also, the merch, man. Everybody's buying merch now. Y'all going to get into the merch game real heavy? Oh, oh yeah. We, we, got we, we got We got these masks. Uh, shout out to my mom for making. We got these permanent ink masks. Nice. Uh, with the logo on it. Uh, we got some more stuff coming. Uh, just keep on the lookout. We got some shirts, got some hats coming. We got, oh. we got some ideas plot, man. We always plotting on the game, man. We just, Word. you know, it's all about time and execution. Where, where'd she get the fabric like that? Oh, uh, you know, I can't tell y'all, man. So. Well, I, 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 I think off the air, I would like to know personally myself. Like, I got you. I got I've been you, looking man. for something like that. Word up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not for masks, for other for other applications. Yeah, though. yeah, I got you. Yeah, man. man, word up. Because I'm I'm heavy with my merch right now, man. I'm I'm doing all kind of crazy merch, man. I'm doing, like, um, skate decks. Um earrings i'm doing stuff you know me out of the box type stuff that yeah. you know what i mean just trying to get you got your shoes yeah i got yeah. your shoes i just yeah. got a couple new orders for shoes um and i'm i'm hoping to one day get a jordan collab so i'm working on a prototype for a main man jordan collab right now <laughs> word up so I'm, I'm i've been busy during the pandemic too man it's been a blessing to me pretty much because you know um i don't mind being by myself because i'm able to get into my mind and bring some of these things out to fruition absolutely yeah. out to realization man Y'all plan on doing anything like um, film or anything like that, yo? Uh, definitely want to get into that kind of stuff down the line. Uh, you know, we all are uh, aspiring actors and script writers and directors eventually. You know? Nice. That's always the... the yeah, I heard y'all teaching movie. cinematography to, you know, to the youngest. <laughs> yeah. so why not? Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, to dive right into it whenever the opportunity comes. Word, word. Yeah. Cause I saw, I saw y'all, y'all got something rolling too, don't y'all? Movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my partner Juma, man, we we started our first full length feature, man, and um, it's been going very well. We almost wrapped up with everything, getting ready to get into that post. And I'm looking forward to the final. You know what I mean? Seeing, seeing. I, I don't know if we're gonna get to see it on the big screen, but you know, hopefully, we'll see. You know what I mean? I would love to I see. Do it by a big screen, man. Well, it's not like, you know, actually, you know, getting I'm that popcorn that. and going to the movies and seeing something that you made up on the big screen, that's love right there. Yeah. But, you know, worst case scenario, we're going to shop at the Hulu, Amazon, Netflix, and all them and, um, right. and make it work that way, man. That's what's you, should, you should do like a, a drive-in movie theater. We thought that's about a, that too. I went to a drive in. I went to a drive in recently, man, and that was my main idea. Was the um, I wonder why Greensboro doesn't have a drive in movie. I, I thought they would, but I think High Point got one or something like that. Yeah, I think Winston even has one. Really? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, no doubt. Word up. So that that's like the move, man. Just trying to figure out different ways to get you know this content. Being a content creator is the is the wave right now. Absolutely. Word up, man. So I'm just I know I'm getting into, it, and I was just wondering is that something that y'all was getting into as well? Yeah, Word man. up, man. But speaking of content, man, we got this second song right here, man. Oh, yeah. All night. Uh-huh. What's what's this one all about? <laughs> is, is this uh, Lionel <laughs> Richie right here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we might be talking about the same thing. <laughs> uh, this was just like, kind of like a fun track. Uh, we had one of our... Uh, our frat brothers, uh, Dante. Dante come in, and I mean, when Dante come in and collab, he for some reason he always got something ready for what, what we talk about. Word, right? and it just worked like that. I mean, he got on the mic, did his thing. We he all did rapping. It. It's the chorus. Oh, okay. yeah, on the chorus. Yeah, word, word. 
I didn't even know y'all was frat. Y'all, y'all in the fraternity. What fraternity y'all part of? So I'm in a music fraternity. Uh, Find me off along with Jordan, but then he's also in another fraternity, uh, Alpha Phi Alpha. Alpha Phi. Okay. What's yours? Groove Phi Groove? Is that what the fraternity is? No, uh, Find me off. It's a Find me off. It's a music fraternity. Oh, okay. Man, I never thought about even pledging when I was in the uh, in, in college. Man, I was just too busy, man, like chasing skirts and trying to get money, <laughs> man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about, you know what I mean, being yeah. Greek like that. But it all, it's all good, man. So, word, this joint right here is called All Night by Permanent Ink featuring, what's your man's name again? Tay Lyric. Tay Lyric right here, man, on Radio 1 Friendly, man. Check this joint. I'm grooving like Backstreet. Man, my bitch in sick. Niggas from Black Street smoking that cheeky. Shorty got features like the new CD. Cold world for Nookie Counting up this dough like I been Do we spooky? That bout could be in the middle From watching on TV Better stop the riddle When the fiddle on the last street Yeah, that's about to blow Can't take no more Whip full of smoke So you keep coming So, so, so good So good It was right, it was right You see where the nigga Wanna stay tonight Hit the band, though Watch the fans grow And she wanna give me head In the land, though In the land, though In the land, though And she wanna give me head In the land, though Hit the band, though Watch the fans to you, please accept that gift. <laughs> Yo, that right there is a song right there you can two-step to right there, boy. That joke was groovy Louie right there, man. Yeah. Yo, that was you on the horns? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. The horns always live, man. My man, word <laughs> up. Like I said before, man, you got all these trombones and trumpets and all that joint hanging around in the joint, man. I knew you had to be doing something with them pieces. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Word up, man. So, uh, again, man, also, man, we was talking about... Um, He's talking about like a little bit of smoke in that song right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. I love indulging in a little bit of that right there, man. Uh-huh. Word up. Just recently, man, I had the, the the pleasure of a little bit of White Widow. Have you ever had that before? White Widow, no, I ain't, I ain't touched White me, Widow, really. man. It's been I, a while, man. Man, I slept for five hours and it felt like twenty <laughs> minutes, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We took a we took a trip out of Cali. Uh, what was it, two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. You know, we took we took took experience of the culture while we was yeah, out Yeah, man, here. that medical, man. Yeah. Right. Oh, man, ain't nothing like just being able to go to the store like you're going to get a Kit Kat, man. And, <laughs> and just coming out with what you, whatever flavor you right. like, man. That's the, I can't wait till that comes here, man. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason why it's not here. It was definitely a luxury. Like, it's fun, man. Yeah, it's man, good. it's like... I mean, take take all the criminology out of it, man, for real, because there's nothing criminal about it, man. If you... Yeah. you, it's, you 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 doing more harm to your body drinking alcohol. You know Absolutely. What I mean? And alcohol is, is is a state run business right now. So <laughs> come on, son. Give me a break. Man. I guess they ain't figured out how to make the money off of it yet. They know. There's, there's, there's literally seven other states right now making a trillion dollars. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and giving billions of dollars in taxes back to the state, man. Wow. You know what I mean? California made so much money, they actually asked could they um um uh, Break away from the United States, so they would, so they could because they knew they could make enough money on on that industry alone to take care of themselves to be self 
Wow. They'll be so, yeah, they asked could they do it two years ago, man. Mm. And the United States tur uh, turned them down. But still, man, come on, son. Wow. In the immortal words of, Le of Peter Tosh, legalize it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll advertise it. <laughs> <laughs> Word up, man. I'm a big 420 head, man. You know what I mean? I think it's the most... I don't know, man. It's very satisfying, and it helps me with my creative juices. How about you guys? Absolutely, I agree. Yeah. It, it always tilts the picture. Yeah, man. You I think know what I'm it, you know we as as human beings we only uh we have degraded ourselves through you know man made things and the way we have treated the environment to now we're down to less than ten percent of our own brain capacity that we're using right now. And I think that what that does is opens up a few of these you know a few of these corridors in our brains, and we're allowed to. For a short amount of time, use them or at least peek into them and, and, and divulge in some of these other things that we are not able to do anymore. Telekinesis, teleportation, whatever we were able to do when we had full capacity of our brains, man. I just enjoy, it, man, just just diving deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. and, or get some good ass sleep, either. Or. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever comes first. Right. You know what I mean? Word up. And, and, and what's the worst case scenario, B? Munchies, my G. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. on, son. Yeah. Munchies, man. Yeah, hungry as Come hell. on, son. <laughs> Come on, let's get on the bandwagon, y'all. I, I, I thought by now everybody would be on board, but we'll see. You know, it is what it is. Word up, man. So, so again, man, y'all got um. You said this joint got seven songs on it. The new joint. Yeah. What's what's the new project called? It's uh, catch the drip. Catch the drip. Yep. This is volume one. Uh, it's gonna be a series. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, so this first one was more so uh, Jordan's production with me kind of in the forefront of uh, on every track with a couple of features. Um, and then we looking to do a couple of other ones. We're switching it up. So oh. it's three of us. So. so you going to do all the production on the next one? Yeah. So the next one, I'll be doing. The, I'll be taking the lead on production. Uh, it's going to be kind of trail in the forefront. And then Jordan, the double and dabble kind of. Man, like y'all going to do the three-man weave on, this, on these, this series, man. That's dope right there. <laughs> y'all fucks with that. We're in life. <laughs> Speaker box, love below type of you know, Yeah, yeah. Because, hey, man, so Black, Black, going back to that song, it's got a different sound because that one, like, compared to all of our other songs, has the most, like, influence of uh, all three of us. Word. You know what I mean? In terms of the instrumentation on it and everything. Like, Word. You know, that, that one actually started with Trail. Okay. So, okay, shout out to Trail, man. Like I said, again, I wish you was here, my G, so you can, uh, you know what I mean, take in some of this Radio 1 friendly love right here. Yeah. Word up, man. But I'm glad I got two-thirds of the group here, man. Yeah. Well, and, and uh honorary member of, of Sun Queen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We miss, we miss really miss a half of it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever like that, man. If y'all could work with anybody, man, anybody in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Oh, mm. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, okay, so for me, musician-wise, Prince. Ooh. Uh, yeah, Rapper-wise, Snoop, Ooh. Timbaland, uh, even E-40, Ice nice. Cube, like... I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I grew up a West Coast head, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna end up on the West Coast at some point. Wow, <laughs> as country as country as I am, I don't think I'm end up on the West Coast. Man. It's an ill diverse uh, lineup you got right there, man. Oh yeah. What about you, Jay? Man, Stevie Wonder actually. Stevie. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That, that would have been like I would really be interested to like make a whole hip hop project with him. Wow, he, I mean? he's probably open to something like that. He, right I've heard him say in interviews, he's open to all kinds of music. You know, wow, like, yeah, that would be. That would, <laughs> I always wanted to do a joint with, with Bob Marley, fam. That's that's, that's my vibe yeah. right there. Uh, if I could do a joint like the way that um, Nas did with his son, man, I would love to do a joint a joint with Bob like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Him or who else? Um, I would like to get a Dilla beat. You know what I mean? Just stuff like as, as an original Dilla beat that he makes right there on the spot or something yeah. like that. That would be dumb high to me, man. Crazy how he changed the game, man. Change the game. <laughs> I, that's what I'm trying to do, man. I'm trying to change the game like I have a signature sound. And yeah. Like, anytime you hear it, it's like, oh, that's Jay Dang right there. Right. Or oh, that's Sensei J or that's Press Play. You know what Word. I'm saying? That's, a, that's what we're just trying to do with Permanent Ink is have that, that signature sound for Carolina because, I mean... Is there one yet? Well, no, no, it really ain't. It's like a, it's like a melting pot of the South and the North mm -hmm. right here, because yeah. we're right here in the middle. You mm -hmm. we're right here where the road meets the pavement. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, really? uh, you know, 
<laughs> also, I would like to get Frank Sinatra on like a on like a hook or something too. That thing oh, that would be dope. Yeah, you know what I mean. Got that classic tone. Get that classic joint, huh? Some, <laughs> grown, some grown man cookout music or something with Frank Sinatra on the hook, me. Yeah, man. <laughs> that would be that. crazy. Word up, man. Yo, man. So, man. So we are getting ready to get into a segment, man. Into a uh, a segment that people love to hate, yo. <laughs> uh, uh oh. This segment right here is going to test your your lyrical hip hop IQ right here. Ooh. All right. It's a segment that people love to hate. It's a question. It's a joint that I call the questions. Okay. Huh? So it's a trivia game right here that I do on every show, uh, and I base the questions uh, according to my illustrious guests, man. Okay. All right. So this particular one is called tit for tat. <laughs> because permanent ink, you know, literally is a tattoo, most people say. Yeah. So this one is all about tattoos, man. Let's see what you know about tattoos right here, all right? All right. All right. So I'm going to name the tattoo. I'm going to describe the tattoo. You have to tell me the person, the, the hip-hop person that is related to, man. Oh. All right? Okay. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Uh, It's like a mad mushroom. Eminem. Eminem is right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even got no tattoos. <laughs> All right. Um, this tattoo is an ice cream cone. Gucci. Gucci man. Nah. No doubt. Okay. <laughs> Killing the game right here. Uh, let's see. Um, he has uh, queens done by Mr. Cartoon across his back. Is that 50? That is 50 cents. Oh, okay, yeah, I awesome. thought so. Too good, yeah. Word up. Word up. Y'all doing great right here. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure y'all ain't looking at my phone. Right <laughs> <laughs> um, a butterfly slash LA tattoo. Mm. It started off as a butterfly and morphed into LA. Mm. I mean, Kendrick? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know that one. This is the game. Ah, okay. You know, I was thinking that. I was the like, he, he got a butterfly? Yeah, he, he, start, he first got a butterfly, okay. and he got so much hell from it that he got it He got it covered up with L.A. L.A., okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you going to be a gangster rapper with a butterfly on your face, hey, man? man. <laughs> I just see some, some gangster rappers drinking frappuccinos, man. <laughs> It's a nugget. I, I, I picture something else at first. A like dagger? Between his eyes. A dagger. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was picturing a face with a dagger between his eyes. I don't know. <laughs> Word up. All right. All right, let's see. Um. All right. He had love and hate. Radio Tattoo. Raheem. Tattooed. Oh, tattooed. Oh, okay. Tattooed, man. Uh. P man, prodigy man. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, upside down cross. Uh, Z Z Z lover. His up down side, upside down cross is all in his face, and he has some. Swinging the second round, I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, they get, per, you know, they get progressively harder. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that one. Uh, that one is Zan. You know, little Zan. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Tupac. All right. Godson across his belly. Uh, 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 dang, 
I see it too. They ain't Nas. Nas is correct the Mundo, man. Cool. Word up. And yeah, that's it right there, man. That is the questions, man. What's that bad? We what, missed ten, two? Ten joints. Yeah, two. yeah, I got out of ten joints. I got eight out of ten. That was okay. Cool. <laughs> right, very nicely right? done. Very nicely done. <laughs> I was going to reset tattoos. I was like, I don't have none, man. Like, I, don't have nothing about <laughs> I was just about to ask y'all that. How, y'all are called permanent ink. Y'all don't have any ink? I do. I got a, I got a couple. Yeah. What you got? Uh, I got grandma's name on my right, on my left arm, mom's name at the top. I got some lips. Got a tap for the fret. I got like a uh, a lion on my arm, and then I got my my shorty's name on my chest. Yeah, uh, I said this earlier, man. Congratulations on the engagement, man. Appreciate that, boss. Word up. So you already got a tat- you already got a permanent ink on you. Yeah, she ain't going nowhere. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Very much last words. No, that's <laughs> Song, Everybody I know who got their girl tattooed on them got it covered up. Oh, <laughs> That's why I said I told my lady I'm never getting your name put on me or nothing like that, man, because it seems like it's a bad omen to people I know. You know what I mean? Man, I tell you, uh, I tell you this, I would have never thought. I would have never thought I would have did it either because I looked at everybody else. Too, wow, you guys made that. <laughs> I was like, shh. I done did it myself. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how, how did she feel about it? Oh, man. Uh, she loved it. It freaked out at first. I ain't gonna lie. But then, like, <laughs> she, you know, the idea that, like, ooh, I see my name on you. Yeah. She kind of liked that after, after a while. Oh, shit, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I know he ain't going In case you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay, why you don't have any, though, man? Uh, man, I mean, to be honest, man, I, I move at my own pace. I just hadn't really been interested at, at the time. But I think I, it's going to take for me to find the right art that speaks to me. And Facts. it'll be like, oh, I got to get that. And, yeah. You know, but I just haven't found it yet. My thing was I wasn't going to get another one until I either had Tattoo Body or I got it done by Mr. Cartoon, who was like my favorite tattoo artist. Yeah. But he charged like $10,000 for yeah, an right, hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I doubt that ever happened. But I did find a local artist who I very much so respect named Aaron. Uh, I interviewed him for the TV show recently. And I'm really thinking about having him uh, tap me up, fam. Is that Aaron Arts? Aaron's art. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, he's I dope, follow man. Him. He got some nice work. Man, he does a lot of Afrocentric work, man. He's also an artist himself, man. Yes. So I'm thinking about having him taking my logo and doing something with it and getting that joint, you know, half I love sleep. your logo, man. That shit is dope. Word. Yeah, yeah. It's dope as <laughs> shit. I like the way you sign everything, too. Like. Yeah, yeah. So I've always wanted to get my logo on me somewhere, but uh, I just can't figure The idea I gave him, I told him, I said, I wanted to do this. He was like, man, that's whack, man. Don't do that. So, <laughs> so I think I'm just going to get him to come up with something. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Word up, man. So, man, it's time for us to get into these bars, man. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. man. So it's time for the bar exam. What we're going to do is we're going to have you spit some acapella bars. You do an 8, do a 16 a piece, whatever you feel, man. Get into the groove, man. Then we're going to go back and chop the bars up for people who don't understand what you were spitting, all right? Okay. Who's ready? i go first. Let's get it, man. Make sure you right here, though, man. Yeah. All right. Cause I remember when me and the crew was kicking at the crib trying to get a bid. Hollered at the plug for an eighth. Don't give a funk of his shake, but it'll all get you bait. We was grinding on the tunes in the living room. Busting bars with mine different. They fresh beats about the kitchen with two fixes. But we not cooking chicken, we cooking vibes. Together like a native tribe. It's no lie. Go way back like Marty McFly. Flying sky high, living life by the night. Cause I'm a black knight, defender for my people. They slaughtering folks in the steeple, but I'm just spitting facts. These are the thoughts I keep in the back. I'm spinning out while the pen spill, but the bill still coming as they please. I'm begging you, G, send me the recipe so we can chef it. I know it's not hectic, but just respect it. Getting money by the checklist, so check this. Be so reckless, skip the net shit. No Netflix, now that's my exit. Trying to get a taste off this music so we can do it, and that's true shit. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Word up, man. You ready, man? We're going to chop his up first, man. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Let's chop, chop them mine? up. Yeah. yeah, while they fresh on your mind, man. Let's All start right. with the first joint. Uh, I don't know, man. I was just thinking about, like, when when we first got started, man. Like, you know, I was cooling at the crib trying to get a beer. You know, we up trying to get some smoke. Yeah. Trying to get the stem rolling, trying to get the ideas rolling. You know, holler at the plug for an eighth. Yeah. I mean, Kevin Shake, you know, we was grinding on the tunes in the living room. Word. You know, busting bars, but mine different. You know, we talking about, you know, back then people was popping Zans and stuff, but busting bars, but mine different. Yeah. You know, they fresh beats up out the kitchen with two nice. fixings. You know, <laughs> but we not cooking chicken. You know, you get a two two piece two piece and some fixings. Yeah. You know? Not cooking chicken. We cooking vibes together like a native tribe is no lie. You know, go way back like Marty McFly, flying sky high, living life by the night. 
Cause mm-hmm. I'm a black, you know. You know, I'm just saying, just you know, black I'm only gonna, future. I'm only gonna ride with the people like <clears throat> I came in with. So it's just, it's just like you know, I eat with who eat with me. You know. Nice, very nice, uh, man. Uh, man, like Martin for the people. They slaughtering folks in the steeple. This is right when they uh, they killed them all them black people in the church, man. Oh man, they slaughtering folks in the steeple. I'm just spitting facts. These are the thoughts I keep in the back. You know, it's a lot of things I don't talk about sometimes. They just sit on my brain, but you know, I got to keep working. You know, I I work around some folks I can't talk about certain things with. So, right, same you know, here. Some some things just get locked away sometimes. So slaughtering folks in the steeple. I'm just spitting facts. Don't keep it back. I'm spinning out, but the pill still, but the bill still coming as they please. I'm begging you, G's. I mean, regardless, these bills gonna keep coming. That's right. You know, I, I gotta keep working. I gotta keep grinding. Uh, you know, send me the recipe because I can chef it. You know, I can. You you give me the formula. I'm a, I'm gonna cook it up. Yeah, you know right. What I'm so that's that's about that's it. it. That's it. Ah, it. bars right there. <laughs> that's how you spit bars right there out there in Radio Land. Check yo take. Yo, check, take a little notes right there, man. Take a little breather right there and breathe in some of that freshness right there, Ooh. man. All right. You ready, man? Yeah. Word up, man. Yo. Allow me to... Oh, shit. Yo, go ahead. Go ahead, man. We can get in the, y'all getting the two-piece today, man. <laughs> we don't usually get two people on the bars, man. Y'all getting the oh, two-piece. Getting the pop quiz today, man. Word up. <laughs> Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is T-O-O-J-A-Y. Painting pictures that support and make a blind man cry for a piece of the pie. The eye in the sky. Because you can never be so certain with that myth in the lie. Because you living it live. Magnum P.I. So when we bust up in your city, give us all the private eye treatment. We went strolling on the cement, floating on a flower with the powder. Figure all the reasons for these notes and these rhymes that duck out of mind. To hit them up, so sublime, to make me shine every time. I'm just trying to ride a line. I make my soul read. Realign, reassign, redefine, color lines of our time now. So make me feel good. Wish a nigga would start shitting with the boot. C I T Y can't fly this high. Don't be that guy out here asking why. When the answer's right inside, outside in is how you gotta win. So it's how I take this pen with this permanent ink and a sip of this drink. Lip sync, hit the ring, and the end to the fat lady sings. Yeah. Tripped up in there a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> But I mean, when you spitting heavy like that, you liable to choke yourself up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard spit. I was like, dang, I, my mouth all dry. <laughs> I, hey, I offered you a water earlier. You said no. <laughs> I want to come off thirsty. <laughs> Yo, let's, let's check. Let's check it. Let's check what's inside them joints, man. Let's break open them bars right there. Man, so uh, truthfully, man, it's just like it's a it's the introduce introduction to myself, like you know. Nice, your resume. Yeah, as I said before, like this hip hop thing, like it's really been me discovering like who I am, what I stand. For for and you know what I bring to the table on this earth so um, you know T-O-O-J-A-Y painting pictures that support and make a blind man cry because my words man I'm painting the pictures with the words that even a blind man can see them mm. you know and it's so emotional that it's like he's crying because he sees the picture word word um, to make a blind man cry for a piece of the pie the eye in the sky and you know we all crying out for something like we all looking to the sky just asking for you know money mm-hmm. love happiness whatever and you know that's what i'm trying to get delivered to the people that's the picture i'm painting for the blind man or um <clears throat> for pie in the sky because you can never be so certain with the myth and the lie see you live in it live so it's like you know there's so much false information out there it's like when do you know where the truth is like so it's like you can never really be that certain whenever you know you got somebody over here telling me we missed over here and I got somebody over here lying to me in my face and it's like how do you decipher what's the truth word up um because you don't be so certain with the myth and the lies see you living it live magnum pi um and so with that line I'm kind of saying like uh you know permanent ink like we're you know I'm detective like you know, I'm looking into myself, like I'm really searching. So that's why I was saying Magnum PI. You're like, investigating yourself. Right, you know, mm. Magnum Private Investigator, Magnum Permanent Inc. Um, and living it live, like being in the moment, like I'm searching every moment, like I'm present and I'm trying to be clear as to like what's going on um, to understand me. Self-evaluation is very important, man. Yeah. Word up. Um, living it live, Magnum PIs. Bust up in the city, give us all the private eye treatment. We went strolling on the cement, floating on a flower with the powder, figure all the reasons so, you know, a little smoke reference. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's really just saying how that moment, you know, when you smoke opens up your mind and, and you see something that you didn't see before. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, to you know, so while I'm, you know, sitting on the cloud, like I'm thinking all the reasons for these notes and these rhymes. Like, what are the reasons why I'm even making this music? Um, to, you know, lift myself up, make me shine so sublime. Uh, trying to think what else the last part. So sublime. Um, 
And then the last line, I was just like, uh, where it comes into the end, I was just like, it ain't the end to the fat lady sings. Word, you word. Know? So just basically saying, It ain't over till it's over. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit can always look terrible, always, but we still here. Right. So it ain't over. Until, so, and, until the buzzer's gone off, man, Jordan can still score on your ass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's, Literally. And I'm talking about this Jordan and, 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 and Jordan. <laughs> talking about this that's Jordan and, and Jordan, man. Word up, man. Yeah. Yo, that's bars right there, man. Yeah, appreciate Word that up. moment. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, man. Let me ask y'all quick. Y'all a three-man crew, man. How how um, how um much in, internal competitiveness do y'all have when y'all are writing together and shit like that do y'all like I know iron sharp as iron so I'm asking that from a standpoint of I know when I get down with my fellas like yo we gonna see who writes the hellest joint man on this joint <laughs> that, that's our secret power man word yeah for sure cause it's definitely like when when the beat, the beat come you know and it's like somebody wrote a verse like whoever goes first it's kinda like you Sucker. Right, you know, like, like, yeah, yeah. Because now every once you done gone, everybody else is like, oh. Oh. Uh-huh. I need to I need to write rewrite a couple more lines. I'll be ready in about 20 minutes. <laughs> like, but you know, it, and but we let it happen. Like we very much like you know whoever was feeling like go ahead drop them to shit. Yeah, yeah. It's very much like okay, cool. I got you. <laughs> I, I actually like embracing those moments because like I usually end up the one going first anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like. Fine, I'll put it out there. Let's John is a tone setter. John Duffy can set the tone for a song easily. He's got the voice. He got yeah. the delivery. Nice. The, the made up words. The the creativity. I mean, on our on, what was it? Uh, our third project, the one you were on, man. This yeah. dude just breaks out in Latin, bro. He's rapping, right? You know, spinning his bars and then oh, they do what they do. Like, <laughs> like and singing harmony. Like, yeah. who does that? <laughs> You know, like, Jay so then it's like, so then when you hear that and you write in your verse, and it's like, man, I was just rapping, man. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's a sweet. different level now. Like, it changed shit. the game up right there, man. Word up. Like, well, and what about Trail, man? How you, how does he feel about that, man? Man, Trail comes with the sword every time, so it's usually like, how sharp is it this time? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, Tra- I mean, Tra- Trey Tra- came out, came up under like Ashan, t- uh, Trey, uh, Trey Gab, I guess. Uh, Word. I mean, he he was he was he came out of uh, they had a poetry group at USC at the time called Black Box Project. Ashan's my guy too, man. That's my yeah. Man, you know. Before that, York, it was uh, WVX. That was their call before that. Okay. And so they was like a poetry collective of like some assassins, man. Nice. Like, so. Like his 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 nickname is Savage Intelligence sometimes because yeah. okay. I mean that's what he come with. It's raw. It's 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 like. so cut. <laughs> yeah, like Word every t- up, every time I hear him, it's like he can't get no better, and then he gets better every time. Like, <laughs> well, shout out to Ashine, man. That's my guy, man. If y'all could compare y'all, turn the ink to any known group or rapper, who would it be, man? Outcast. 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 Yeah. yeah, I mean that's that's easily the biggest influence. Like who. Like, I remember hearing So Fresh and So Clean on the radio for the first time. Nice. And it was like, oh, I, I, I got to hear more. And I wasn't, at the time, I wasn't even really that exposed to hip hop. Yeah. And that was like, I was like fourth grade, man. And that was just like, all right, okay, I got to find more of that. Where where can I get more of that? Like, yeah. <laughs> Word up, man. Big yeah. Boy got a, him and Sleepy, uh, Sleepy Brown project. got a project coming out called yep. The Big Sleepover, man. Yep. Looking forward to hearing that joint. It's, it's going to be right. It's going to be right down the same vein of so fresh and so clean too, yeah, man. Like right. that first single is dope as hell. I'll take an Andre 1000 right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> at, this, at this point, yeah. I'm yeah, good. come on, man. Just give but me you, something, man. Give me a single, still, give me a hook, man. man. And honestly, I'm hoping that Permanent Ink reaches him and he goes, oh, man, I got to come back out now. Word. And it's like, oh, I need to meet these cats. Like, y'all really bringing life back. I need to come back out and be present with y'all. Man. Like, that's why I'm really hoping, you know, what happened. Man, I went to the uh, reunion concert like three or four years ago. That had in uh, they had in Durham, man. <clears throat> it was dope to see the two of them back on stage together, man. It was so, and I was thinking after that, oh man, they gonna come out with something again, <laughs> psych. <Yeah. laughs> you know what I mean? Dang. Never happened, yo, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. So man, I guess that's it, bro. Yeah, man. That's the uh, that's the radio on friendly ride, man. Um, you know what I mean? Don't don't please watch your step when you're getting off, man. man it was dope being up here, man. I just appreciate this vibe. Definitely real. appreciate you having no us. No doubt, bro. man. I only have the illest and the realest right here because it's the most undisputed, undiluted hip hop radio talk show of the Carolinas. And if you ain't a real spitter, please don't hit me up to be on the show because it ain't gonna work, fam. You are gonna get embarrassed if you come up here and you can't really spit a hot fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, like Dylan. <laughs> Yo, man, because this right here is the kind of show that still got bills and they baby name. You know what I mean? It's an unfriendly show, and I want to thank my illustrious guest right here, Permanent Ink, for coming up and being my guest. Yo, yo, yo. Where it up? Man. Yo, man, it's time for everybody to mind your business, man. We need social links. We need um, websites where people can get your masks and merchants and things like that, man, so they can link up with you, man. What we got? Uh, you can follow us on IG at Permanent Ink Music. Uh, Twitter is Perm Ink Music. Uh, you can follow me personally on IG at J Dank, the producer. Uh, yeah, just press play. That's J U S underscore P R, the number three S S play. Man, that was incredible, right? <laughs> 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 you must have been smoking some widow 